Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's been a little while since I've made one of these videos, but now that travel's starting back up, I'm actually going on a trip this weekend. I want to take a look at what I include in my tech travel setup. I partnered with HP Chromebook for this video. So big thanks to HP for sending the Chromebook X2. We'll talk about this in just a second. Let's take a look at what I include in my tech travel bag. Now here's a look at just about everything I bring with me when I travel. Let's begin with, of course, the bag that I use to carry everything. For this backpack, I went with a more minimal feel from Topo Designs, and I will link to everything I talk about in this video down in the description. So this one, nothing too flashy or fancy. It's fairly thin, has a water bottle pouch on the side. I really do like the color scheme that they went with overall. Now it has just one front zipper here and just a big pouch on the front. When you open up the top zipper on the inside, just two compartments, one for our laptop and one for everything else. And finally, you have another side zipper to fit maybe another laptop or tablet. And speaking of tablets and laptops, let's look at the HP Chromebook X2. This Chromebook is a detachable computer, extremely thin and light, and has a very premium design. This device runs the popular Chrome OS operating system that is designed to be speedy, secure, and easy to use. This Chromebook is perfect when you're on the go. It has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C processor, so not only is it quick and speedy, but there is a SIM card slot here for 4G LTE connectivity. This Chromebook speakers are tuned by Bang and Olufsen, and if we do want to unlock the device, the power button's up at the top, which with a fingerprint scanner built in, in a very convenient location, just set your finger down, you're ready to go into your Chromebook. And speaking of those speakers, they are front facing. I'm a big fan of them, especially when using it in tablet mode or when it is attached to the included keyboard. This Chromebook comes with a lot of extras. First of all, this back plate, which has very strong magnets built in, so it snaps to the back of the device and which I like keeping on at all times. It really doesn't add too much thickness to the Chromebook, but it has a kickstand that you can pull out. And as you can see, the magnet is extremely strong, so you can essentially set it up any direction that you want to. This is perfect, especially when you're using the included detachable keyboard, which again has very strong magnets. It connects right away and works very well with that back cover when using it and sits up just like a laptop. The keyboard has function rows up at the top and included trackpad so you can use your Chromebook all the way through just like you were using a mouse. This Chromebook has a really nice 11 inch 2K display at a three to two aspect ratio. So it looks great whether I'm using it horizontally or vertically. This display also looks great while gaming considering it has that Snapdragon 7C processor. Everything's very quick when playing those games from the Google Play Store or multitasking in the Chrome browser. Browser. And you can get up to 11 hours of battery life on a single charge, so you don't need to find power outlets throughout the day when you're on the go. There is even a pen included in this Chromebook if you're doing some drawing, coloring, or even maybe signing some documents. It's extremely convenient to have overall, and with very strong magnets, it connects to the side of the Chromebook, and while it's connected, it is actually charging the pen, so it will stay charged and connected when you're on the go. Now your configuration may vary. I have 128 gigs of storage built into this Chromebook. And of course, I can get my work done while I'm on the go. It works with Microsoft Office. And overall, just a premium experience with this Chromebook. I love how strong the magnets are. The back stays on, the keyboard stays attached. Even the pen stays attached as well. It offers protection. So when you just put it in your backpack, zip it on up, you are ready to go. To keep a lot of my accessories organized, I use this tech travel bag here. This is from Native Union, and opening it on up, there are various compartments to keep things separate if I need them to, but inside, I've got a group of different uh, extras, accessories, headphones that I use. First up is a pair of wireless earbuds that I have with me. These are the Google Pixel Buds. A series and in my opinion these are the most comfortable earbuds I've used especially for longer periods of time they don't get uncomfortable at all and then also in my opinion these are the best looking earbuds when I have them in my ears they just sort of sit flush with my ears 
Not only do they look good and fit well, but the Pixel Buds A-Series connects seamlessly to this HP Chromebook. I've also been bringing with this charging brick, fairly larger than others. However, you can charge up to 60 watts, and I do like how the prongs are collapsible and there are two USB Type-C ports, and this particular braided cable is just a Spigen USB-C to C cable. A couple dongles, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because a lot of phones do not have headphone jacks these days. You never know when you need it. And then a dongle here that converts USB-C to three USB Type-A ports and has an Ethernet port. This is from uh, Aki. Something I've included in the bottom of my backpack for a long time. Look at how much wear I've got on this power bank from Rav Power. Uh, it is just a larger power brick, which has 26,800 milliamp hours. There's newer models to this, so I'll link to the newer model. This one's a little bit older, but it has been great. It's held a charge for a long time, and it sits in my backpack for a while where I don't use it. And every time I check it, it still keeps that charge very well, which is useful. I don't always need it, but it's nice to have. I don't mind the extra weight at the bottom of my backpack. Something else I like bringing with me is a surge protector, depending on if I'm at an airport or a hotel. Not sure how much I want to trust the outlets that they have. And not only does this give me three power uh, outlets, but also two USB type A ports for charging. And it will let me know when it's protected when I plug it in. It doesn't have to be vertical. You can twist it to be horizontal, depending on the way the plug fits. Very simple, but this is from Belkin. Now, when it comes to content creation, I have a little mount for my phone that I can connect to, and this actually will pop out so it can be sort of a kickstand if I want to set up a video shot, or it can connect to a tripod as well. Finally, this pouch I don't always bring with me. It's kind of large. It has some weight to it, but it does fit in my backpack when I need it to. And this is actually the DJI Mini 2 drone. So when fully collapsed, you'll see it is really tiny. So I can just bring this drone with me separately. I don't necessarily need this bag, but it keeps a lot of extras together, such as some extra batteries if I want to bring those. However, there is a controller too. So I can just bring the controller and the drone if that's all I really need. And it's a very minimal package. I don't necessarily need to bring this entire pack. And you'll notice fully extended. It also doesn't take up much room and it has a 4K camera. Again, for more video camera shots, I don't bring it on every trip with me, just about if I know I wanna get some video footage from where I'm at. It's very useful and just a great little tool to have for some content capture, and it just gives unique video shots. So overall, that is everything that I bring with me when I travel in my tech travel backpack. Hopefully it gave you some good ideas for things that you might wanna bring with you next time you travel. Again, big thanks to HP Chromebook for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Drop a comment. Let me know what you liked, anything that you think you will pick up. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.